Woodlin, hmm. step in the right direction. <laughs> yes, I think so. Okay. Um, good morning, Ghana. I'd like to say a happy birthday to my presidential candidate, Mr. Lanjira Martin. Oh, it's his birthday today. Oh, yeah. happy birthday. Oh, what a blunder. We all, we all, uh, yes, we're we all busy campaigning. Yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to um, so, Alan Chemate from all of us here at TV3 going out to you, sir. Okay. So um, that was on the 29th. That, that Sunday just passed. Okay. We had a press conference and he showed solidarity with the um, protesters, the young protesters. The detained ones. Exactly. The detained ones. Um, and he has also given support. He's been able to gather some um, legal support for them as well. Um, a few of us went to visit um, but we, although we didn't see them, um, they knew that we were out there um, supporting them. Um, we did that because we realized that as young people, they were concerned about the things that are happening in this country. And they came out in their numbers. Someone would say they didn't have those kind of huge, large numbers, but they made a point. Their, their case was well put out. Um, the international community got wind of it. We watched it on CNN, we watched it on Al Jazeera, which meant that the message went out at a time that our president was talking about environmental issues um, in the UN. We were busy, the young people in this country were busy trying to drum home to him that things were not good and that we do not um, uh, feel that he was tackling the Galamse issue properly. Um, it is rather unfortunate to think that um, some government um, communicators would come out and say, ask him that the um, protesters be given bail or be let free. Uh, it's like asking for rapists and criminals to be let free. I find that very appalling. I think we should take politics out of all this. And if it's anything at all, you know, when you make such statements like um, protesters being... Uh, uh, those condemning the, the, the police and the courts for keeping the protesters in might as well be talking about the release of rapists and criminals and armed robbers. This was said by Mr. Miracles Abwaje. And I just wanted to tell him that, yes, um, why should the people's lives, the Ghanaian lives, be disrupted by the fact that an MPP government is in power, a government that has disrupted the lives of Ghanaians by haircuts, by the fact that people lost their jobs, by the closure of banks, by the fact that lives are so, so difficult now. We can hardly make ends meet. Poverty is looking at us in the face. We cannot even afford a decent square meal a day. And you think that protesting for what is life, water is life, and protesting for our river bodies, for the water that we will drink, for the lives of the yet unborn is such that we should be comparing them to rapists and criminals. I think the greatest rapists and criminals are the pen thieves who are sitting there enjoying the leisure and everything that is coming out of this Galamse issue. Those who can come and sit by on our TV stations and bring out gold bars to show us that they have been able to acquire such from the Galamse sites. Those are the criminals, the rapists. Those are the ones that should be in jail and not those protesters out there. It is unfair. We are also asking and we demand and we agree and accept everything that these guys are fighting for, that this country de deserves a reset. We need to look at our mindsets again and know that it's not everything that is good. Right now, when you look in the papers, you are, you're seeing government officials actually agreeing that Galamse is a good thing. Who said Galamse is a good thing? We are talking about illegal gold mine, gather and sell. That's what it says. It didn't say go and destroy the forest. It didn't say go and destroy river uh, bodies. It didn't say go and, and, and do things that would create mayhem for us or chaos for the future. We cannot afford to import water. We can't. We are already importing food. Basic agricultural produce, we are importing them. We are importing cassava. We are importing kosnobri. We are importing okro. We are importing everything. All the cereals we are importing. And you want us to import water. Why? Even in countries that are deserted, they have water. They are, they are trying ways and means to give their people water. People have even been able to desalinate seawater because water is life. This is not a political issue. I am asking and begging our political elite not to turn the Galamse issue into a political issue. It is not a political issue. It is between life and death. With a demonstration going on, I'm part of it.
The only You're thing going is, to be on the streets I will, today. I will be on the streets as well because we've started our campaign. Look out for the Yellow Army. We are going to be everywhere because we demand that Ghanaians sit up and make sure that they vote for the right people. It is not just voting because this is my party, this is my tribesman, this is my dad. No, vote for that one person who is going to come, make the changes, create the opportunities for all of us. There's so much we can do without destroying our lands. Yeah. We have a 10-point agenda on Galamsey. A 10-point agenda yes, on Galamsey. Yes, on Galamsey, on how to fight Galamsey. But, and, and we want Ghanaians to Is this know. public? Have we seen it? Yes, it's, it's public. It's in our... It's uh, in the yellow it's book. It's in our yellow, yellow book. It's in the yes. yellow book. Uh, it's, it's in the in yellow our, book. Yes, it's in our correct. yellow book. You can you can look at yeah, that. That's correct. But the most interesting thing is that we have come out firmly. We are not beating about the bush. The movement for change and alliance for revolutionary change is saying that if you go back after we have reclaimed these lands and you try anything, you will go in for life. All right, we will jail you for life. All it right, is not playing about the bush. Let's come to